Hello everyone and one more video on Tana and this time on how I use Raycast uh, to integrate with Tana. So Raycast is like an application launcher. It's uh, quite useful and I use it quite a bit. Um, the shortcut for it is, um, is dependent on what happens when you install it. So you can define it for yourself, but basically it's an easy way to, well, start any kind of application and there's lots of stuff actually included all by one but there's also something called a Tana integration so once you've installed Raycast you can actually go to the store by typing in store and pressing return searching Tana and it will find the Raycast integration which you can then install using enter once again once it's installed you can um, open it and it will ask for an API token and that's where things get interesting. So one of the things I use in my workflow is actually an inbox. So an inbox is basically a spot where you can send stuff from different areas. So I have a shortcut on iOS, uh, but also this Raycast integration, how I actually send stuff directly into Tana. So let's create an inbox node. So in this case, I use my inbox session and I get nice inbox so the css styling here is mine and in order to make this work you'll actually need to go into the command k menu and get an api key for it so an api token it will generate an api key and it will copy it to your clipboard after it's done so it takes a little time there's actually a kind of nice way how tana handles this because you get an api token per node in your graph so once you've done this, you open um, Raycast again, paste the token in there, and press continue. And now you're actually done. This will actually send anything you want to Tana. So in this case, uh, test from Raycast to Tana, and sending it. And what happens now, if you saw in the background, this node actually tilt turned from empty to filled. And this is a great way for me to send small messages um, from different apps directly into my inbox. Uh, I use it quite a bit. On iOS, I have a shortcut. Um, somewhere on the Tana Select, there's a, there's, a, uh, there's a way that you can still find how that shortcut is installed. Um, I might want to make a video about that one later, but uh, for now, this is one I wanted to show. Yeah, thanks for listening.